Okay, as you can see here, I have uh, another weapon from the TFW website, uh, found on traditionalfilipinoweapons.com. This is the Maguindanao Chris. This is from the Maguindanao tribes in southern Philippines. Very dangerous weapon, usually used by a sea lot or the Kuntal practitioners down there. Um, you can swap, let me show you the sheath first. You see how well the sheath is carved beautifully. It's a, a, a real nice looking sheath. Uh, a couple of different types of wood to put this together. Um, the, the sword itself is beautiful. Um, you've got a comic con handle, and uh, the, the thing is just engineered to perfection. Now, when I, uh, you, you can feel the engineering in this one. I mean, just swing this, you can feel how this just wants to do the work for you. This is a beautiful sword. Um, I want to show you how dangerous this is. What I did was I, I saw this at a store. It was a, a placemat. It's not the usual thing that you see cut like on uh, the, the mats that they use for the samurai swords or anything like that. But this is, I think, maybe a little harder. Definitely represents a, a limb, maybe an arm, a leg, and definitely a neck easily enough, hypothetically speaking, of course. Um, I just want to show you how this, because it's kind of flimsy, and but yet yeah, it looks like it's made of a bunch of like uh, strung together bamboo pieces. So I thought this would be kind of cool to cut up when I saw this. So I'm going to show you how this works here. So I'm going to show you how this works, uh, how this cuts right through. Okay. Okay. Well, nice clean cut. You can see how nicely this cut through. And beautiful cut actually, through rather easily. Easier than I thought it was going to cut. This is a nice sword. Didn't even hardly scratch, made a little dust mark on it, but that's about it. So this came out, this came out very good. You'd like this sword. I have this and we have the largest Chris selection found on the web. You'll find we have something like seven different types of Chris. And uh, go to traditionalfilipinoweapons.com and you'll see them all.